Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're going to be talking about the Golden Laced Hawaiian Doat and its capabilities in egg laying, its broodiness, temperament, all that good stuff. Then you need to make the decision if this is the right chicken for you. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you will receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So the golden laced Wyando is possibly one of America's most beautiful and beloved chickens and one that is hard to mistake with its stunning plumage. It's a breed that was created in the fairly recent past by poultry farmers looking for a homegrown dual purpose chicken breed. At the time, there were few truly dual purpose breeds available and so they began their quest in search of perfection. Now let's talk about the history and background of Golden Lace Wyandotts. The Wyandotte breed was actually created by four avid poultry men, H.M. Doubleday, J. Ray, L. Whitaker, and F. Hoodlet. It was named after a helpful and generous Indian tribe of the area, the Wendat, later known as Wyandotte. Their desire was to create a bird that laid well, but it could also serve as decent table fare. In other words, a great utility bird. At this time, many chickens were not the best layers and were pretty tough and scrawny. Although most people did eat chicken, it was not the top of the list considered because of its unappealing traits Many types of chickens were used in the genetics of the Wyandotte, but since no records were kept, it appears unlikely we will ever know the true composition of the Wyandotte. It's suspected that the dark Brahma and the silver spangled Hamburg were involved along the way, but no one knows for sure. Now as for the golden lace Wyandotte, this was created by Joseph McKean of Wisconsin. He started in 1880 when he crossed silver laced Wyandotte with a bird described as a black red pattern fowl called a Winnebago. His project was declared successful in 1888 when the Gold Lace Wyandotte was accepted to the APA. Now let's talk about the appearance. The Golden Lace Wyandotte is basically the same shape as her sister varieties. Her head is small and sports a rose comb, which is ideal for cold climates. The comb waddles face and ear lobes should all be red. The beak is yellow horn color and the eyes are bay red. She's a curvy, glamorous, and plump hen. Her neck is short but well arched, making it look longer. Her back is broad but short and the tail rises up to a perky angle. Legs are well spaced and sturdy, perfect for great balance, and she has four toes on each foot. Yellow is the color of her legs. The rose comb of the Wyandotte is perfect for the colder climates where the breed was originally created. However, very occasionally you'll find a Wyandotte with a single comb, which is a throwback to their ancestors. There's nothing wrong with these birds. They will lay eggs perfectly well, but should not be used as breeding stock. Feathering is dense to keep the cold at bay with quite a bit of under fluff. The feathers should be loose, but not give the bird a cushion like appearance. Feathers are gold color with black lacings to the edges of each feather, delineating each one perfectly. Now let's talk about the gold standard or the golden standard. The original wine dough was silver laced and it was admitted to the American Poultry Association in 1883. The gold laced wine dough was admitted to the standard in 1888 along with its much rarer sister, the white laced wine dough. Now several varieties of wine dotes that have been admitted to the APA, American Poultry Association, making it a total of nine large breeds and 10 bantams. The standard breeds that are recognized is silver laced, gold laced, white, buff, partridge, black, silver penciled, Colombian, and blue. The weight of the standard birds is about eight and a half pounds for males, six pounds for females. As for bantams, you should expect boys to weigh about 26 to 30 ounces and the ladies to weigh 24 to 26 ounces. Now let's talk about the egg laying and the broodiness. They're good layers of medium sized light brown eggs laying around 200 eggs per year, just under four per week. They do make great moms happily raising a batch of chicks for you. Of course, this means the Wyandotte has a tendency to be broody, which is a nuisance if you want eggs, not chicks. This trait can vary from strain to strain though. Now let's talk about the disposition and known health problems. Many Wyandotte's have strong personalities. This means they don't tolerate any other bird trying to peck them or pick at them. They are likely to put the aggressor into their place in very short period of time. Wyandotte's are usually near the top of the pecking order. Golden lace Wyandotte's are docile with their keepers, although their personalities can be said to be cool or aloof to humans. Many people say that they are talkative and friendly, but definitely not a lap 
chicken and generally they prefer their own kind and will usually stick together and ignore other breeds. The Wyandotte is a strong and healthy bird not prone to any health issues or other than the standard parasites as they are quite densely feathered, lice can be a problem. So keep a close eye out and treat them as and when necessary. All that feathering keeps them warm in the winter, making them cold hardy, but summertime can be brutal for them because they need shade and cool water to maintain their comfort and to avoid heat stroke. So is the golden lace Wyandotte right for you? If you want an all American chicken that lays well and can handle the cold, the Wyandotte may be for you. The golden lacium, the bird, certainly attracts many comments as it is quite stunning, especially when highlighted by the sun. The clarity and depth of the lacing will vary from strain to strain. As always, you get what you pay for. Wine dotes are never in a hurry and they take life at their own pace. The only exception to this is when treats are involved, but even then they don't exactly go wild. They're docile, so, are, so they're tolerant of children, but they are not a chicken that enjoys lap time or cuddling. This type of personality makes for ease of handling, especially for newcomers. As we mentioned before, they have quite strong personalities and do not tolerate being bullied. This usually puts them near the top of the pecking order. They are not bullies though. They prefer their own kind and will stick together, ignoring other birds unless there's a problem. They'll do well in confined spaces. They can be on the bit of noise side. So if you do have a bunch of them, it could be a problem for your neighbors. They make great 4-H projects for kids and they are known to do well in competition in exhibition venues. The Golden Lace Wine Doe is really a beautiful bird. The lacing is so intricate and the gold seems to spark in the sun if you want a bird for eye candy this is a contender the only downside to this particular bird is its attitude and aloofness although some people have had great success with them and would not change them for another breed once again the strain of the bird has a lot to do with the personality that's going to do it for us here at the happy chicken coop thanks for listening thanks for joining us today make sure you like that video and subscribe to the channel so we can continue to put out great content for everyone with that i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon